Hey, how you guys doing? Well, I had to do an inspection today on the Pennsylvania border of a deck that was failing. Well, of course, I'm not going to miss too many opportunities. So here we are. This is an abandoned, uh, what I, I don't know, I'm going to research it, but I think it looks like a brick factory. You could see where they had the bins, you know, and then this was the belt that would take it up, the hopper, and take it up, which would go outside and check out. You can see how dirty and dusty it was in here. You can see the silicone up on the ceilings. I mean, imagine back in the days, you know, people weren't wearing masks. And this stuff is very bad. Silicone's like glass. And uh, it'll just cut you up. Um, you can see it all over here. And of course, I'm walking around in shorts and no mask. It's a little, it's probably a little windy. I shouldn't be in here without a mask. Um, you can see just piles of this stuff uh, throughout. They just kind of up and left. Um, they, uh, here's the hopper. Um, let's go out and check it out. We'll go back inside. Um, if you hear a click and I'm taking photos and oh, hope I don't get any ticks. There's a lot of ticks out here. So here's where basically the trains would drop off the materials. I always go when I'm doing urban, I'm always looking for railroad tracks. You know, railroad tracks and rivers. And so basically here were the hoppers and we're not gonna climb this today, all right? Um, and uh, looks like they just left from the looks of this road. I'm gonna guess this place been abandoned for, oh man, I want to say 10 to 20, 15 years. Um, there's no, there's no doors. It's not boarded up. Basically means nobody wants to own it. Um, the city don't want it. Nobody wants to buy it. It's probably a super fun site, you know. And uh, so we're getting back inside a little bit. And looks like kids like the play around in here a little graffiti and uh, looks semi-professional graffiti these guys are a lot of these graffiti artists follow the railroad tracks they're the same ones they put on trains and uh, there's another one of these I'm gonna go find um, about five miles up the road I'm heading back to Cleveland so look at this they just left all the silica just piled up and it's probably all in the air. I don't know who's gonna clean this up. The, uh, a lot of graffiti. There's a little office upstairs. I hear some weird noises in here. Like, <laughs> like there's people or something. Like you almost hear people talking and I'm out in the middle of nowhere. So I don't know. Look at this, little bags of, who knows what's in these bags? Little chemicals. Here's some more bags. I mean, look at this, this is pretty nasty. This is just like aerosolizing. So, looks like we got piles of alkyl micro silica, EMS 965 and Is really, really contaminated. I mean, seriously, it doesn't get worse than this. Um, probably should be wearing like a scuba gear in here. The bags are just ripped open. Here's some uh, plastic. By the way, if you watch my garden, don't use this stuff. It doesn't work. All right. Um, I'll explain later. More nastiness over here. Uh, this stuff, all kind of stuff. Mate, this came from Canada. And so, uh, aluminum. That's aluminum from Canada. Microsilica, which is basically glass. And who knows if there's asbestos in any of these bags. Um, oh. 
basically multitasking here. Um, I'm alone, so I won't be climbing up any towers. Generally, I don't do any climbing when I'm by myself, especially where at locations I have no clue where I'm at. I'm probably lost. Half the time, I lose signals, and that's where uh, my navigator starts taking me around in circles. And so let's go take a quick look outside. Uh, so this building is done. We're gonna head outside. I kind of walked around the whole facility. There's a bunch of railroad cars. There's another building I don't know how to get to. Now I think these cards, these railroad cards are still functional. I think they're just leaving them here because they're not rusted. So they're getting like probably free storage. This looks like the gatehouse. Um, let's go check it out. There's probably some paperwork in here. I'm not sure I'll touch it, but let's look. I might, if there's another one of these, I'll do one more. Um, hello, animals. Ooh, man, it stinks. All right, so basically, a lot of mold. Like I figured, paperwork. Lots of paperwork. You could probably see what they actually made here. There's a calendar. And let's see the calendar. This is a new calendar, right? So really, I was, was I, let's see how close I was. 2004 was the last month. 14. So, what did I say? How many years did I say? 15? Pretty good, Marco. So, this vacated in 2004. You're probably just staying afloat. You know, people don't use brick as much. That's when all the culture stone started taking over. A lot of aluminum, or I'm sorry, vinyl siding. And hardy board was coming out right at that time. So hardy board and vinyl and culture stone and ephus put these people in the You know, it used to be wood and brick. And then they did aluminum. And then that got expensive. And then they came up with vinyl. And then they did eaves, insulated, extra, extra insulated, or insulated finishes, EFIS. And then we had some problems with driving. Then we came out with uh, culture, Hardy Board, had problems with that. And now we have uh, cultured stone. So we have, uh, and now they're bringing back society and other, other uh, types of mediums. So the brick business, too expensive, couldn't make it. And that's why this is what it is. There's a tower back there. I'm gonna ha head over that way and check out that site. If it's cool, I'll come back. Over and out, thanks for watching.